Did somebody say garlic parmesan pretzel bites? Hey there ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back. And today's experience, I'm gonna make some garlic parmesan pretzel bites in the caloric max air fryer. It's gonna be my first time ever baking soft pretzels in my entire life. Could be a hit, could be a miss, who knows? And if this works out right, I'm gonna come back and do a super spicy version of these. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm adding two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt. Also, one tablespoon of sugar and one pack of active dry yeast. Then you wanna use one and a half cups of warm water that's around 105 to 109 degrees. I measured this, this is 108 degrees right now and I pre-measured out the amount. Next, you wanna just let it sit in there till it gets foamy. Maybe even give it a little bit of a stir. So about five minutes. Next, you wanna use a half stick of unsalted butter. I'm gonna be using Challenge Butter Unsalted, and you need to melt it first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside this cup and then throw it in the microwave for melting. All right, butter's all melted. Let's go ahead and pour it in. Looks like the uh, yeast concoction foamed up quite a bit. That's good. You also want to weigh out 22 ounces of flour, which I have gone ahead and done ahead of time. And go ahead and add that to the mix. Now that I've gone ahead and added everything, let's go ahead and lower the mixer. And we're gonna put it on low and you want it to mix up until the dough starts pulling away from the bowl. And of course you wanna use a dough hook for this operation. Once the ingredients have kind of blended in, you could go ahead and speed it up. You just don't want the flour going everywhere. And it's getting there, it's definitely getting there. Now if it looks like it's still sticking a lot, you could go ahead and add a tablespoon of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's looking pretty good. Next, you want to oil or grease a bowl. I got some olive oil right here. But just make sure everything is greased up. That should do it. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the bowl from the mixer. And let's go ahead and add the dough to this mixing bowl with the oil. Next, you want to go ahead and cover the bowl with either a tea towel or a plastic wrap. I don't have a tea towel. I'm gonna to use plastic wrap. And it should be in kind of a warm location, you know? The thing is, it's pretty cold in here. So, I'm gonna use the Max. It has a proofing feature. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the Max. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on proof which is 100 degrees. It's supposed to go for an hour, just in case I'm gonna do it a little bit more. We'll go for an hour and 15. Plus I need time for it to heat up through the proofing, so that should take care of it. Let's go ahead and start it, and throw the bowl in. And there we go. I'll check back with you when it's done. All right, the proofing process has finished. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Should be able to touch it, it was only 100 degrees. And the dough definitely doubled in size. I'm sure you saw it when I put it in there. And now, that's what we're looking at. See, there we go, pretty good. 
So for the next process, I got to take 10 cups of water and also two thirds a cup of baking soda and let it boil. So I'm going to go ahead and start that right now in my instant pot. That's two thirds of a cup. Going to go ahead and pour that in my instant pot that you cannot see on camera. It probably looks like I'm just pouring it into dead space there, but there you go. And now 10 cups of water. and 10. Going to go ahead and give that a little stir. I'm going to go ahead and set it on saute and set it for more. I think that's going to be like a little bit hotter of a temp. So I'm going to let that heat up and go. Meanwhile, now we need to take the dough and separate it. Okay. They recommend, I think, eight different blobs of dough. Uh, that's if you're going to be making pretzels. I'm going to be making pretzel bites. Yeah, it is still a little bit sticky, as you can see. It's a little tacky, but it's not just sticking all over me. So I think it's at that perfect consistency right now. All right, so I'm just going to pull off a bit. They also recommend you oil the surface. So I'm going to put a few sprays of olive oil. And now I'll go ahead and roll it out a little bit. And I think it should be around one inch thickness right around there. Give or take, right? You can use a rolling pin if you like. Or just do it by hand. But it should be like a rope, if you will. And it will spring back a little bit, as you can see. I'm trying to get it even. I'm not used to baking, so uh, this is kind of a new journey for me you could say and i'm going to get it near my little measurement thing on this um, pastry mat trying to make it pretty even all right that seems pretty good and i'm going to go ahead and cut them off into uh, one inch pieces first time really ever working with dough like this so i think i'm going to just start with that amount for right now make sure they cook right and everything and then I'll go ahead and do the rest later. Um, just for this time, it's a little bit of an experiment, you could say. Also, I got to prepare a baking sheet with parchment paper and lightly oil it as well. Once this comes up to boil and it's almost there, then I'm going to let each pretzel bite sit in there for 30 seconds and add it to the baking sheet. I'm also going to preheat the max in bake mode for 450 degrees. Yeah, it's definitely starting to boil. I got bubbles all around. I'm going to try to add one of these real quick. Not sure if they're going to float or if they sink. Oh, they float. All right, so I'm going to add a bunch of them. All right, so 30 seconds. They are expanding a little, I notice, once they hit this mixture. All right, let's go ahead and remove them. All right, they're all out. Next, you're supposed to use two egg yolks. Kind of stir it up. And I'm also going to add a little garlic powder to this. And next you want to lightly coat these with a basting brush. With the egg yolk mixture. Alright, there we go. Next I preheated the max to 450. It's done. And they need to go for about 12 to 16 minutes. Or until brown. So... I'm going to stop this real quick, put it back on bake, and I'm going to set it for 16 minutes so I can keep an eye of how long it really took. Put it back at 450, and let's go ahead and throw the tray into the oven. And I'm going to use the bake to position. Add 
and away they go. While those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take the remaining half stick of butter, throw it in another container, and let's get it melted. I'm also going to take some Parmesan cheese and put it in this tray right here. That ought to do it. All right, butter is nice and bubbling. And I'm going to go ahead and throw some more garlic powder in it. And when the pretzels are done, I'm going to go ahead and give them a bath in the garlic butter and then go ahead and roll them in the Parmesan. Sounds like it should work. They're about halfway done. I noticed the ones in the back getting done a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate the tray around and put it back in. And I don't think I'll need to go the full 16 minutes. I got five minutes remaining and they're definitely looking pretty good. Like I think they're done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove them and I'll start moving them over to the cooling rack. All right, so one by one, Gonna bathe them in the garlic butter and roll them a bit in the Parmesan and put them back onto the rack. All right, gonna let these kind of cool off and maybe the Parmesan cheese will crust on a little better. All right, welcome back everybody. That was a little bit of a lengthy process. There's a lot that goes into making these and I got a lot of cleanup to do, but I got a lot more baking to do and uh, I'm gonna continue with this, but for now, here are the pretzels that I prepared. Looks like they came out pretty good too. Let's go ahead and try some. Oh yeah. I've had garlic parmesan pretzels from places in the mall. I'm sure you're familiar with them. These are every bit as good if not better. Just so flavorful. A little bit of a crispy exterior, nice and soft in the middle, definitely baked through and through. Uh, the Parmesan, the garlic, it just adds another dimension to it. I am going to come back and try these again soon and make some spicy versions because I love living in the spicy life. I love the world of heat. But for now, these are bomb. And they came out so good in the Caloric Max air fryer oven. I love this product. I've been using it for just about everything and anything you could think of, you know? And it's great to know that these products are definitely a hit. So, I'll go ahead and list what I did in the recipe down below. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. Maybe you guys want to make some sometime. You never know, right? If you like Parmesan garlic pretzel bites, you will love these. I guarantee it. So, that being said, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to drop me a line below. I love hearing from you. I love interacting with you. Uh, if you have any suggestions, anything you have at all, please leave me a comment, okay? And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What do you got to lose? I got a lot of stuff in the works. So that being said, we are going to tow this one out of here. Going to wish you all a fantastic and stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me, I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Take care, my fine folks, and I'll see you next time. Laters.